Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining Lisa Brown, Stamp with Lisa Brown, on my Savvy Sunday uh, that's stamping and various inspirations. I'm here to show you some tips and tricks of things as I come across them in our catalog with our products. Uh, it could be a quick technique, could be a trick with a, a punch or a die. Um, so I'm just here to share and hopefully give you some inspiration. So today, my uh, tip and trick is done with the Label Me Fancy Punch, and it is a tag punch, and it has a little um, hole puncher and a little slit. So let's see, I have a little sample for you. And this is just a little tag uh, that I made using the, the punch. And I have a little piece of paper, another piece of Whisper White back here. And um, this uh, was punched out in our designer series paper called From My Heart Special Designer Series Paper found in the 2020 mini catalog. And then I just put a little um, piece of Whisper White behind it. But then I, I lined them up and I punched a hole here so I could uh, tie some ribbon. So just really quick and easy, um, cute. Catch me, uh, here's a preview for next week. I'm gonna show you about this little heart. So that's my preview for next week. Um, in the mini catalog, there is a new bundle. Um, it comes with the So Sentimental uh, stamp set. And it comes with these great framelits called the Stitched So Sweetly. And here are the framelits. And this is what I have cut out, uh, this scalloped rectangle. It's a stitched scalloped rectangle. I did it with the number two. And then um, missing from here is another label punch, or excuse me, a label die. And that would be this one that I have die cutted this label with. So I just want to add a quick sentiment from... Um, or add a quick sentiment to to this. I'm going to do it in real red. And my sentiment comes with the uh, heartfelt stamp set available in the uh, mini catalog. And it says, so lucky to have a friend like you. Now I'm going to come in with my uh, label Me Fancy Punch. And I'm going to stick my paper in on this side so that I can add two slits here because I want to put some ribbon in there. Uh, but just to help guide me as my center, I'm going to just take a marker and I'm going to make a little dot here. It's kind of like in a little dot here. Those are my center points of where I want my ribbon uh, slots to go. So I'm just going to stick this in the punch and I'm going to find that that little dot I made and just put the slit in the middle of it and punch that out and do the same thing for the other side. Punch that one out. Okay. Now I have two slits. Okay. So I took, uh, this is a real red card stock. Another piece of designer series paper from the From My Heart designer series um, paper. I'm going to take my label that I made before and I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. Okay, I'm going to pick those off. So I'm using my pick tool. And if you just kind of tag them in on the end of there and, and pull them over. They come off so nice. All right. Let's see. Um, actually, I think I'm going to hold off putting that down. I want my ribbon to go all the way around. So why don't we do that? Sorry about that. We're going to hold off on that for one second. And we're going to come in with the um, Whisper White Polka Dotted Tool Ribbon. And I'm going to stick this ribbon here. See how, because this ribbon's wide, that slot is just perfect for it. It threads right through. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to mock it like it's going all the way around, but it's really not going to. 
pull this back through. I don't need that much. And I'm going to cut this off, grab my paper snips. Okay. I'm going to pretend that that's going all the way around here. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. Uh, let's do, we'll just put some liquid glue here, a little bit there, just to hold it in place, hold it down to my real red uh, cardstock. Okay, that should help us. Let's put that on the center there. And then I already have my, my dimensional, so hopefully the ribbon will catch. Yep, ribbon caught there, and it's going to hold that on. Same thing over on this side. It's going to catch. Now I can dimensional that onto my card. Oh, goodness. No, I can't. I need to put my heart down. Oh, okay. Let's get some adhesive on our, um, this is our lace doily heart. You get a uh, 20 pack. You get 10 in flirty flamingo and you get 10 in real red. Here is um, the real red ones. Uh, so these are really cute. These are available again in the mini catalog. It's all a part of the From My Heart product suite. Okay, now we can put our label down. I'll put it down here. Okay, now it makes it look like the ribbon's going all the way through with our slots. And then I'm just going to take the tool ribbon and I'm going to make a quick little bow. And we're going to stick that on the side of our label. And I think we're just gonna we're gonna just stick that little bow right over here. Um, let's see, I don't have my glue dots with me, so actually I'm gonna ball up a piece of tear and tape. That'll work. If I can get this, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back with my dimensional. I'm going to stick my dimensional down and put my ribbon over top. Stick that down. There we go. And I can fluff out my ribbon here. Okay, quick, quick and easy. Quick and easy card uh, using the uh, Label Me Fancy Punch. And you can do this with any of your label dies. Um, I actually showed, uh, it was either last week or the week before on another uh, video, um, I had punched uh, slots in, in the large one, but you can do it, you can do it for any size. You can do it for, um, for these labels too, if you wanted to have something um, a little creative with your ribbon uh, weaving through, punch some holes. And uh, that's it. That's my tip today is to make sure that you're using your punch not only for this tag that it creates, but you can use it for any of the other uh, tag punches and uh, banner dies. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.